Tweed Fan Z here. So the review I'm going to give you today is my review of the 2001 Wes Anderson movie, The Royal Tenenbaums. So a little context. This is only the second Wes Anderson movie that I have seen. The only other one I had seen before this was Isle of Dogs. But this is a movie that I've been wanting to see for years based on the trailer because I thought it was unique and also because I had heard good word of mouth of this movie. So in this movie you are introduced to Royal Tenenbaum, the father of this family, played by Gene Hackman, and his wife, uh, Ethelene, played by Angelica Houston. And in this movie, there had been a long separation in the family in terms of the three kids and reconnecting with their father because something happened with him and the mother. And we first start out the movie when they're younger and how they're all prodigies. And then we get to 22 years later and you have Chaz played by Ben Stiller. You have Margot, played by Gwyneth Paltrow. And then you also have Richie, played by Luke Wilson. But also in the mix, you bring in uh, Owen Wilson as Eli, who is the best friend of Richie. And who, growing up, lived next, lived across the street from the Ten Bombs. And then you also bring in Bill Murray and Danny Glover as other characters. So, this was a pleasant surprise for me. On the positive side... I think Gene Hackman as Royal is the best part of this movie because he brought some livelihood and some energy to the movie. And I'll get to that in my negatives. Also, I liked that all of the main cast... And I'm meaning outside of, like, Bill Murray and Danny Glover. All of the rest of the cast, I feel like they really did well with their characters. And they each brought their little quirks to the characters. And But the biggest thing that I liked in this movie is the interactions. It seems like every time you got an interaction with any of the characters... It really showed just the amount of chemistry each of them has with, the, with each other. And I just really enjoyed that aspect of it. And now, as far as the negatives go, when I talked about the energy, and this could be a Wes Anderson thing, I just need to watch more of his movies, but for the first hour, it was very monotone. What I mean by that is every character pretty much was deadpan. And even if it was something big that could be shown with emotion, there was no emotion whatsoever. And then the other small negative is that the story is good. But it didn't do anything to make, make itself great. But, basic, but basically my final say it, of this movie is that... Like I said, it was a pleasant 
surprise. And I was hesitant a little bit going in because I'd only seen two Wes Anderson movies and I know he's kind of quirky. So I wasn't sure how quirky this movie would be. But also, there have been times where I had wanted to see a movie for years, and then I finally got around to it, and it kind of disappointed and didn't meet my expectations. I'm happy to say that this movie met my expectations. So as far as a rating goes, I'm going to give this movie... 3.5 out of 5. And if you enjoy a these reviews, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more content. But this is my review for 2001's The Royal Ten Bombs. Come back next time for another review. This is Movie Fan Z signing off. Have a good night.